I'll be going over my active trader setup, my level two setup, and my time and sales setup with Thinkorswim using the TD Ameritrade platform. Now, just keep in mind, this is gonna be a little bit of a messy video just because there's so many intricacies of setting this platform up that I don't have any material planned. So I'm just doing this off my head, right? So uh, let's jump right into it. Now on the top right, press the little setup icon. And then from here, press reset workspace to default. Now this is gonna give you a um, from scratch setup. So it's gonna look exactly the same as mine does right now. And from here, we can just work through it and, and start from scratch. Now, the first thing I'm gonna want you to do is I'm gonna want you to come to this left-hand section over here, right? And we're gonna delete all this nonsense stuff. So we're gonna delete the um, Trader TV and we're also gonna delete the live news. You can add this back later if you want. If you wanna keep it, you can keep it. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this um, very, very clean, just a watch list and my account information. And that's it, that's all I need right now. Now we're gonna to go to the chart section. We're gonna hit flexible grid and we're actually gonna start working um, on the active trader and time and sales and level two setup. So um, I like to have three panels on the bottom and three panels on the top. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this little customizable gadget over here and press this little icon twice. One more time and bam. Now we have three in the top, three in the bottom. On the top left, I like to keep my chart. So everything's gonna default as a chart to begin with. So this is gonna remain a chart and that's, that's totally fine. And then this one over here is also gonna be a chart, but we're not, gonna, we're not gonna keep it as a chart. We're just doing that so we have access to this little gadget on the right. Now we're gonna remove the chart and this one's really gonna be our level two. So that's gonna be our level two. And then this chart over here, this one is going to be our time and sales. So remove the chart section by pressing the C and then add time and sales. And then we should be good. Yep, okay, cool. Now on the bottom left, these two panels are gonna be dedicated to my active trader. So I'm gonna do it again, Apple, and remove the chart, and then where is Active Trader? Active Trader, okay. This one, same thing, Active Trader. Now this third gadget on the bottom right, this one could be, or the panel rather, could be either uh, another Active Trader if you'd like to have multiple Active Traders, or it could be another chart or another level two. I prefer this being a chart. I don't really need more than two Active Traders because I can simply switch um, and add contracts as needed very quickly and I'll show you how I do that. So uh, I'm gonna make this another chart. So we're gonna blow up the, the Netflix chart. Okay, so now that I'm here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this charting setup on the, uh, on the active trader. So let's go to the settings icon and then from here, we're gonna get rid of uh, buy market because we don't wanna buy market. We don't wanna sell market either. Uh, we don't want to reverse. We can leave flatten because that's like a that basically sells the order as a market order and gets rid of your entire position. So that's good to have as a um, last resort. But we're gonna add is we're gonna add sell bid. We're gonna add buy ask, and we're gonna add cancel all. Okay. Now we're gonna move this all the way up to the top. I like to have buy the ask on the top and sell the bid shortly thereafter. I'm gonna remove cancel, and the reason why I'm removing cancel is because I'm adding cancel all, right? Makes it very simple, um, and this way I don't have to press cancel and then press cancel all. I can just do cancel and I'm good. So now we add this, and now it looks beautiful, right? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing to my secondary uh, active trader, and you can skip through this section while I'm doing this right now, just so you're not um, wasting your time. I'm gonna do buy ask, I'm gonna do sell bid, I'm gonna remove cancel, and I'm gonna add cancel all, okay? Basically the same thing again, move to the top, move the second to top, I'm gonna to remove, I'm gonna remove, and then remove this to the top as a uh, cancel and remove the reverse button. Okay, so now our active trader is set up exactly the way I want it to. And once we've done that, 
I'm going to remove the sidebar. So now it looks a lot cleaner. I'm not touching this anymore. This is exactly how I want it to be. Okay. Same thing with the chart. I'm not going to touch the chart right now. I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to remove the sidebar on everything I don't want to touch anymore. Okay. Now let's jump to the um, time and sales section. And I know we're jumping around a lot and I apologize, but uh, this is just how we're going to do it today. We're going to go to customize and we're going to want to see the bid. And we're also going to want to see the ask, but I want the, I want the bid first and then I want the ask second, right? This way I can actually see um, what the bid is and what the ask is and then what the price is um, coming in at, right? So if it's coming in um, at, you know, 156.8 and the bid is 156.88, you know that it's being bought pretty much at the bid, right? And that's, that would be a, a bearish um, order or a very passive buyer, right? That's all that means. And it's very important to have the bid and the ask on your, on your time and sales, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna wanna add a filter. And how do I add a filter? Go to the size button over here, and I'm gonna do show greater than 500. And I leave my entire time in sales as show greater than 500 on pretty much every chart, unless it's a very, very cheap stock like American Airlines, Delta, um, DKNG, stocks like that. But pretty much I keep it at 500 plus. If I'm going to a cheaper stock, I'll do 1000 plus, okay? It just reduces a lot of noise and it's a lot cleaner. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to move the price so it's right next to um, the bid and the ask so I can visually see it a little bit better, right? Now, this is done as well. The level two, I'm keeping as default. I'm not going to change anything with. This chart is great. Now, we're going to get into the fun stuff, and this is what a lot of you guys might be looking to do. Um, and it's going to be setting up a watch list. And you might be at wondering why the hell am I setting up a watch list? The reason why is really, really cool. And the reason why is basically I can load a um, option contract into my watch list and then take the option contract and load it directly into the um, active trader. So I basically will have every single option contract I'm watching for that day in my watch list section and I can just throw them into my active trader at any point. And what it also allows me to do, and this is very, very critical, is I can add my P&L day and my P&L percentage to my, to my option contract so I can see what my profit is in each one while I'm in the trade using Active Trader. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. So I added the watch list section. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press uh, this little default button in the middle. And then from here, I'm gonna, pre I'm gonna press create a watch list, okay? Now, the watch list name can be anything you want, um, but I'm going to name it contract one, okay, because I have multiple contract um, watch lists, so I have to I have to label this a little, a little bit differently. I'm going to save that, and now it's going to delete all the tickers that were there, so it's very simple. I'm going to press the little settings icon. I'm going to press customize, and then from here, I'm going to uh, remove net change. I don't want that anymore. I'm going to remove last. And I'm going to add two very key metrics. P&L open. And then P&L percentage. Okay. Now, this looks very bare bones right now. But watch till I do this. So now I'm going to, now when I'm trying to trade options, I have this setup done pretty much. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press trade. I'm going to type a symbol, Apple, under the all products section. I'm going to load the option chain, right? This is the option chain. This shows all the expiration dates for a particular um, ticker, right? So if I want to trade Apple today, I go to March 11th, and I'm going to trade these contracts. Um, it's only going to show a couple um, strike prices, which is not cool. I don't like that. I want to see many more than that. So I'm going to change it to 14. So now it's going to show 14. Um, strike prices seven on on the uh, on the in the money and seven on the out of the money, and now I have a little more diversity to choose from, and I'm going to copy this contract. Right? Let's just say um, I want to trade these contracts today. Right? What I'm going to do is I I do uh, I double click and copy or double click or just click on it and press Control C, and then come into here on the symbol section, 
Control V, Enter, and now the contract is loaded here. If you're using a Windows computer, uh, it's it's either Command V or Control V, right? It just depends on what kind of computer you have. I'm using a Mac computer, so it's Command V. Okay. Now, let's say I also wanted to trade Netflix, so I go to Netflix. The strike price is set at 14, so it shows me seven in, in either direction. I could even do it to all if I wanted to, but I'll do 14 for now. And I'm gonna buy a call, right? So I wanna load these contracts up and I'm gonna paste it into my um, watch list. And now it's here, okay? So now I have a few different contracts ready to go at my disposal and I can choose from them as I'm trading. So how do you implement this, right? And I will show you how I implement this, okay? So basically what I can do is I can set this to red and I can link this one to red as well. So now automatically it's going to um, create a linkage between the two platform, the two um, gadgets, right? So any contract I load here and have selected, it's going to change to the one I have um, selected over here, right? So if I wanna trade um, the Apple calls, right? I just press Apple and it changes to that one, okay? Now, I wanna get rid of these stupid little um, customizable gadgets in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press this little section over here on the top right and remove the customizable grid. So now it's a little bit cleaner. Okay, let's use uh, Apple as an example here and I will quickly buy Oh, you know what I have to do? I also have to enable auto send. So I'm gonna enable auto send on all of my active traders and I'm gonna change the quantity to whatever I think is good. Um, right now, I'm gonna change the quantity to one just so I can use this as a test run. And let's see, okay. Yep. So I'm gonna place a bid at 1.15 and how to do that is I just go to their option ladder, right? And I'm on the I'm on the green side, which is which is for buying, right? For for bids. And if I wanted to sell, I'll go to the ass side, right? So I'm gonna place a bid at uh 1.12. Okay. Now it's pulling the option, the option contract from my from my watch list, right? And it just filled, okay. So it filled at 1.11 or 1.12, right? So it actually filled better than what I what I placed the bid at. And now if I want to sell, all I would simply do is I would just press the um, the ass side, right? And if it doesn't fill immediately, I could have lowered it, right? So if I if I want to buy Apple at 1.07, this contract, it's pending right now, and I can move it up, and those contracts will fill at whatever price is there, right? I could cancel it as well, I can move that around, and uh, on the sell side, it's also gonna show your net position, right? So right now, I'm in two Apple contracts um, and uh, my P&L is $4 and my percentage is 2.31%, right? So it's showing my P&L and it's showing my P&L percentage. So now if I wanna sell, I, could e I can either go on the actual option ladder, uh, the price ladder and, and press sell at whatever the price is. This little gray area right here, that's where the price is. That, that's the price currently. So if I wanna sell, I can do, okay, I wanna sell at 0.12, right? or I can cancel it and I can just press sell bid and it's gonna fill instantly. And now my net position is zero and it says I have zero p on the on the percentage and zero p uh, on the open, right? That's because I don't have any position open, right? If I had the position open, it would show my, my p and on that trade, right? So very, very simple. Um, and I think we have covered everything at this point. Um, we have our level two, we have our time in sales, we have two different charts, we have two different active traders, and we set up our, um, our contracts. So that is pretty much all I wanted to cover today. I know this was a very, very hectic video where I'm jumping around a little bit too much, and I apologize for that, but it's, it's just a very dynamic platform and there's a lot going on. Um, so I, I had to jump around a lot. So I, hopefully this helped you. Um, let me know if it did. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help. Um, and uh, have a good day.